Here's, to, here's for the trailer. Um, when I was visualizing the boat this winter, uh, I wanted it to be easy to move for the family, and I didn't realize how heavy the boat was going to be. Um, it's probably 180, 200 pounds, and it's it's too much uh, for the family. I decided that we were going to buy a wheelbarrow that had two wheels, and I'd cut off the axle, borrow the axle, weld on um, an attachment so we could continue using our wheelbarrow, weld on brackets, paint it, so it's all good. So the trailer is borrow, uh, borrowing the axle and wheels from the wheelbarrow. And I'm so glad that we have this trailer because it basically uh, slides right into the car. Okay, here we go. Without ramming the back of the car, and then I tip it up like this. And then we've got rollers in the car, plastic pipe I got out of the dumpster. And we go until the trailer hits the bumper. I drilled holes in the front handle and rear handle of the boat because holes are um, useful. And basically the boat, the front handle of the boat will uh, install right here and it stops here. And then I can slide these bolts in and then we can take and disconnect from the trailer. When I welded this, this together, I used an eighth inch washer, washer on each side because I didn't, I wanted it to slip right into the trailer. I didn't want to have to struggle when we're dealing with something heavy. Now on the back here, the trailer is lacking in a couple components, a couple of accessories. Um, I've decided that I couldn't find stock for the axle for the wheelbarrow wheels. Um, so it's a little bit narrow. And as long as you go easy, it works. But if, it, if the boat tips over and crashes, um, someone could get hurt. Um, the boat could get hurt for sure. So I drilled these holes in the beginning. If I had time, I would make bracket, a bracket that would fit on here and come up. And the boat would land on the bracket and slide against the bracket. This is right on top of a rib station. So it'll slide against the structure of the rib station inside the boat uh, and be pretty well supported. But this is the next thing that needs to happen and it'll also help center the, the trailer if we use this in the water. If we back it into the water and hook it up, it should work pretty good. So I'm grateful I built a trailer and I, I recommend that you do too if you're going to build a boat for the back of your car. It, it, it was worth the effort. While you're rolling it, I'll pick it up. Keep going, yeah. Keep going. Should okay, I that's put, pretty good there. Should I put it down? No, no, don't, no. don't put it down. Okay. Look at this, it's so easy. Wow. It's a little bit too far Should I help forward, you? just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Look at this beauty. And now it can slip in here. Okay, now I can put the bolts in it. But the trailer makes it, there's a bolt, makes it manageable and safe so here's our trailer and it's great i got the balance so there's like five pounds of weight on the handle but yeah i'm grateful we built this trailer it's really good and I've got the balance, so there's more weight on the tongue, or the handle, front handle. There's just about five pounds of weight on it. Uh, and we can take and set the boat down on the ground if we want to take and release the trailer and pull the trailer away from it. I've just thrown in a couple of bolts here on the handle. And they pop in reasonably well with a little bit of strain. But 
but a manageable amount of strain. I have over drilled the holes to help uh, install them because it's hard to get the trailer exactly right. And I built the trailer when the boat was upside down. I built the trailer, put plywood on the boat, and I tacked all the parts in position while it was on the boat upside down so it would fit reasonably well and um, it, it fits pretty good it fits pretty good not perfectly I think some things warped a little bit so here's the trailer that that's about it oh I did make one attachment for it here to help pull it and steer it around the yard I've got a handle here that I threw together and it drops in like this and shove a bolt through it yeah and throw a nut on it and then we've got a handle we can take and tow it around the yard and steer it steer it into the back of the car the handle wasn't really necessary but I wanted to use the trailer for other things like hauling a, a log from the forest and uh, It'd be kind of nice to pull it like that. <coughs> so I didn't really build the handle um, specifically for the boat. Yeah. Anyway, this trailer is so great. I could do it with one hand, which is really important to make it easy. As easy as possible. And the path is kind of crooked. I wish... Uh, the wheelbarrow axle was wider, so it would be more stable. There's a sticky spot here for turning. I have to watch the side of the house and also watch the car too. And then I'm going to set it down for a moment and get the, the plastic pipes because it rolls into the car with these plastic pipes. The big one is for the stern. Without cover? Yeah, we're going to try it without a sheet. So this is it. This is how we load it. And it rolls in real nice. So we got to tip it up. And then miss the top of the car there. And now the, the trailer is hit. So at this point, we're ready to take the bolts out. And this is where it'd be nice to have another person holding the handle. We got disconnected from the trailer. Can you pull the trailer out? Yeah. Beautiful. That's great. And now it just rolls in. Until it hits the back seats. And we're going to try to take the trailer with us. I didn't know how it would go loading and offloading at the at the lake. So I just threw these things together. And basically they're designed to to fit into the handles like this. I've got one for the stern too. And then one person on each corner, so four people can can carry this out uh, to the car and transport it. Um, because it's just another option for hauling it.